September 9. There's a plane going over right now, so I'm sorry if you can that's loud. I don't know. Also it's raining, so maybe some nice rain background. I'm not really sure. I have I'm it's okay. San Diego is if you're not familiar, it's in California, which is not a very humid state. It's not. Um, but today it's very humid. It's hot. It's like in the 80s I think maybe maybe 70s and it's raining and it's not cold Which usually when it rains here it gets cold, but it's not it's been like 
we've been experiencing a really intense heat wave in California, like 90s and up. Um, so it's good that there's rain to like kind of cool it off, but not really because I'm still I'm still wearing shorts. Um, <laughs> I'm still hot. I'm still sweating. That was the chair. Um, yeah, so I have to get all the doors and the windows open to get some airflow in here because it's really, it's like sticky, it's like hot, and I don't know if you've ever been to a humid place, um, it's like a sauna. It's like you took a hot shower and you're just standing there in the steam without the vent running or the windows open, so you're, it's, it's pretty sticky inside. I mean, it's not that dramatic. I, it makes me feel bad because I'm like complaining about how humid it is but I love the Philippines and that is straight up humid all the time like way 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 more humid than San Diego so I kind of feel like a baby <laughs> complaining about it but it's just you know it's not what we expect in San Diego so of course I'm gonna have something to say about it anyways so my desk is a mess and that's just that's just the reality okay I I wish I could be like those, you know, YouTubers or whatever that make their area super cute and aesthetic all the time when they work, but I just, I don't, I don't. I keep it clean maybe, I clean it like once a week maybe, but if I'm in the middle of a project, I don't put all of my stuff away because it's going to take so much work just to put it back on the desk, so I just kind of leave it until I'm done. So. I'm waiting for the plane. So I have this new project that I've taken up, or new crafts thing that I'm um, becoming addicted to because as you know, I cannot be tied down. I have commitment issues. That's the Sagittarius in me. I just cannot stick to one medium. I love them all, and I like to visit each one equally, but Will I stay with one forever? No, absolutely not. So my new obsession is working with polymer clay. Um, let's see, this... This guy was one of the, one of the first ones. He's not the first one, because the first one I have already painted, but this is what it looks like when it's just... by itself. We've got this guy... Okay, so the first guy, wait. So this guy, the first guy, is supposed to be a crow um, with a leaf on his head and I even put like a little key ring thing in the back. I don't know, is this focusing? Um, <laughs> this is a GoPro, so I don't think it focuses the same way that other cameras do. But yeah, so it's supposed to be a keychain. And then I also made this guy, which I really don't know where I was going with this. Like, it was going to be a cat, and I was like, eh, that's not a cat. And then it turned into, like, this fox-looking thing. Not really. Like, a bat, maybe? A lemur? Anyway, I gave him a cape. I thought it would be cool for him to have a little cape. And he even, he even has, like, a little tail. It's like a bunny? I don't know. You tell me. Um, there's that guy. And then I decided to go a little bigger and start making little figurines. So this is Phoebe. Um, I don't know if you've if you know my dog. She is a Chihuahua slash Dachshund wiener dog, so a Chihuini. Um And she really loves to sit like this, <laughs> which it it's really just like when dogs beg, they look like this, right? You know, at least in the cartoons. But when she does it, because she has such a long body and such little legs, she seriously looks like a T-Rex. So the command for it is T-Rex. <laughs> and then she'll go up like this and look like a little T-Rex. Um, it's so cute with her little nubby arms. So I decided to make a cute little green of her. And then I made one of Karoo, which I struggled a little bit because... Um, I wanted her to look fluffy because she's so fluffy, she has so much fur, but I also wanted it to not look like, like she was like shaggy, you know, like a, like a sheep dog, um, because she's not, she's a German Shepherd mix, so, I don't, we'll see, once I paint it, it might look a little bit better, but, um, yeah, so there's that one, then I also 
made a cat. He's stretching. Um, yeah, this, this little face. And then I even gave him a little butt. <laughs> so cute. This one, okay, and then I painted them also. So here's the painted crow. Isn't he just so cute with this little leaf? And then I want, I still wanted it to be like not so random with my art stuff because my style is getting very, very random, you know? Um, and I thought, well, maybe I can put in some elements that will still kind of tie it to me so it's not just like so random that I'm making these cute little clay figurines. Um, so I put... I dipped him in some, I don't think you can see, it dried kind of dark, but it was like this ac acrylic um, uh, paint pour, you know, with like all the, it'll probably look better once I resin it, but it's supposed to look like those backgrounds that I do, you know, um, you can see it better on this one. So this is a duck. Um, I did not mean for his eyebrows to come up that strong, but that's just what it is. I really, really like the flower on top. It's super cute, I think. Um, but yeah, there's a duck keychain. And then he's, I gave him a cute little groovy bottom. Like, it's super swirly and... Yeah. So that's what it's supposed to look like on the, on the crow, but... He's so cute. And then, the last one. I don't know if any of you play Animal Crossing, but I was obsessed. I was obsessed with Animal Crossing. Like, if you could see on my profile how many hours I've clocked in on Animal Crossing, it's just, it's a little... You know, it was the pandemic, and we were on break from our job. We were still getting paid, but they weren't putting us out, like... In work we were kind of just at home so me and my husband got animal crossing and we got obsessed anyways so my favorite character is a duck named ketchup and she's red and she's supposed to look like a ketchup bottle like I even gave her a little green thing on top so this is ketchup the duck she doesn't look like this in the game obviously she looks more like stylized like a character you know that can actually walk and stuff but I made her to look like a little rubber duck um, yeah, and that's like what her wings would look like. I can't decide if I'm gonna give her a, like a fancy bottom also. Fancy bottom. Um, probably not. We'll see. Cause I feel like it might get too distracting. And I also, I don't know, maybe I should. That'd be kind of cute if I gave her a little, maybe just like a circle. I don't know, but she's also a keychain, so she'll hang. She's a little heavy, I'm a little worried, um, but I still have to resin, coat them in resin, which is what I'm gonna do today. And I turned off the fans so that I could film without any too much background noise besides the rain. It's hot, I'm sweaty. You can see, I'm, I'm really shiny. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I guess it's time to work.
Um, it's been a while since I've talked to the camera. I was going to apply for an exhibition, um, an art exhibition, a group show, and I was working on some oil pieces. Um, I didn't get to submit on time. They were, they were finished. I just, all I had to do was take good photos of them and then fill out my application and submit it. But the day that I was going to do that on the deadline, um, some personal family stuff happened. Uh, I won't go, I won't go into too much detail, just, you know, cuts. Not everything has to be said on the internet. Um, anyways, I still like the paintings. I'm a little sad that I wasn't in the right headspace to submit them. Um, which just goes to show, don't put it off until the last minute. Don't put it off until the very last day to submit because on that last day, you might be going through some shit. Um, yeah, so because of that personal stuff that I had to deal with, um, I'm still currently dealing with, I've been struggling with my art and creating, like I've been making stuff, but I haven't really been wanting to be on camera and show it, um, which is why the gaps in this vlog I don't really talk, I mean like, you, you probably wouldn't know unless I told you, but this vlog goes all the way back to August, and it's now October. <laughs> um, so yeah, just a lot of stuff happened, um, not planned of course, and it just threw my whole art groove off. But anyways, I wanted to show you the completed paintings, which I will probably be putting up for sale. Um, I don't know when because I'm not very good at updating my website and I really suck at taking good photos of paintings. Um, yeah, anyways, so here's this guy. There's probably a better way to show this than just, you know, holding it up to the camera, but here we go. So... I really like this, how this one turned out. Like this one, I like so much better than the peacock from the beginning of this vlog. Um, it just, he just turned out so cute. And I love that the head is very, like obviously a hummingbird, but then I left the rest of it basically up to your brain to complete the rest. Like I gave you an outline, but for the most part, it's all the, I can't show you and talk about it at the same time. I really, this is fine. We're just gonna keep doing it this way because I don't feel like moving the camera. Um, yeah, so you can see like all that cool goodness. I really, really like how this one turned out. Uh, so there's that one, love him. And then here's the peacock one. This one was okay. This one turned out okay. I still like it a lot. I definitely like the hummingbird more because I made it more abstract. Um, I wish I wish I made this one more abstract, but I, it was very obvious that, like there's a peacock. The only parts of him that like use the background as the foreground. Is that the correct word? The only parts of him that use the acrylic paint pour in the back are his face and his beak. Um, and that one is not even like super, you know, super paint pour dramatic uh, like over here, which I mean, it would have been cool if I had incorporated the background more in his feathers up here. I kind of, I tried to like make up for it by making a cool little design in his tail feathers. Um, he's still cute. I like him, but I'm not like as proud of him as the hummingbird but yes these will eventually be sold maybe um 
I also got into clay, which you see sporadically in the video, um, in the vlog. And I have a huge tray of everything I've made. Um, I've been changing, I'm still trying to figure out like my style really when it comes to clay. So it's been changing a lot. All of my stuff, like for the most part, it's staying relatively the same, but like compared to my very first stuff, like this, this is one of the first ones I made. I love the flower, even though I, I stopped incorporating that in my later clay pieces, but it's a cute little keychain. Like, okay, now look at this face. Okay, now look at my updated ketchup. Okay, so first of all, she ended up getting really big. Um, this one I used, I made using regular, uh, like pre-made colored clay. This one is painted. Like this one came out originally just a whitish gray color clay and then I painted all of this on, which is okay. I just don't like the look of it when it's painted like you, sometimes you can see the brush strokes and also painting is like a pain um and it's just so easier when it's already colored you know it's becoming more and more like this one is like more very okay that's a duck for sure but this one is more like cartoony um although this one i like the wings better than this one but i i don't know i got lazy anyways so those are the two, like, how drastic of a change. Like, this one I made... When did I start doing clay? It was, like, September... I think it was Labor Day weekend. So the beginning of September, like, the first weekend of September, this guy. And then this one I made a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, so, like, October, end of September. But they're basically like a month apart. Um, that's the change. Am I going to go through every single one of these? Maybe. I went through a phase. Okay, I'll just show like the phases that I went through. I was really obsessed with like crows. Okay. So these are my crow friends. Okay, so these are phone charms. Um, we got a crow on a pumpkin and a crow wearing a mushroom. And it comes with a little extra tiny pumpkin in comparison to the phone. So this is my phone. Hey, that's you. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's a little bit long. and But it's not too heavy, so I thought it would be okay for a phone. And plus, everyone's phones are huge nowadays. Like, this is the iPhone 10 or X. Um, and I know a lot of the new phones are bigger than this now, so I think it's a good size. So yeah, I made crow pumpkin, crow mushroom. And then, keychain size. So these are much bigger, as you can see. They're definitely too big to be on a phone. I mean, you could put them on your phone, but ugh, they're a little big and they're kind of heavy. So, same style, but bigger. And they came out super cute. I really like this mushroom. Look at this mushroom. So cute. Okay. This chair is so noisy. And then I made... Um, I don't know if any of you are on TikTok. This guy is so dirty. Um, but there was like a trending video slash audio that everyone was using. And it's a song about corn. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. TikTok's a weird place. Um, but yeah, so I made some crows on corns. Okay, so this one is like huge. He's he's basically like a paperweight, um, but they're called desk, I think I put desk buddies or desk friends. Um, too big, too heavy to be on a keychain, but just the right size to like sit on your desk and keep you company. That one, and then I have a smaller version that is a keychain. And he's sitting on a corn cob. Which, I mean, it, 
it's yeah it's corn that's corn so i made the crows I made a little baby flamingo keychain i love that he looks so sleepy because same and i put a pineapple on top just so it's not just a flamingo it's kind of cute you know kind of tropical okay and then i made a bigger size okay wait so this is the baby size and then i made a bigger technically i made the bigger one first and i was like this is so big so i made a tiny one also um because you know not everyone likes heavy keychains it kind of like weighs your keys down by a lot and then i was like wait let me upgrade them even more so i got this big guy um yeah he's big he's more of like an ornament which is why i made the attached chain so long so that you can kind of you can hook it first of all really really long if you want or you can turn it back on itself and re-hook it into this ring here to like attach it on something thicker like i don't know if you really want to use this as an ornament like in your Christmas tree, you could. You could just do that and attach it to the branches that way since not everything is um, skinny enough to fit in the lobster hook. So I really like this one because that's when I started experimenting with the clay and I started getting like these cool designs that are very similar to how I paint. Um, like those backgrounds that you would see like this, you can see it a little bit better. He's a little dirty, but um, yeah, so I was getting really into like making them cute and also this is becoming my signature face with the really huge eyeballs protruding out and a little bit sleepy looking or angry. Sometimes they look angry. It just depends. Um, so I made those and then I was like, oh, let's go even more um, into like the... Halloween theme so I made another duck from Animal Crossing this is Molly the duck so <laughs> I gave her a little witch's hat so that she looks super cute but the, she's a desk friend sits on your desk um, I had someone order her already so I made I had to make another one so now I have two but I'm gonna ship them out today so She's about to go to her new home. Uh, so there, a witch, duck. Um, I really wanted to make like a cat one because I love cats. I love my cats and I know a lot of people love cats. So I wanted to make like a black cat that was, you know, doing that black cat thing. <laughs> um, so here's this guy. He's so cute and he, he stands. It was really hard to get him to stand without using supports inside the clay, like like a wire or something stiff so that he doesn't fall over. But I love that I made his face just like so silly. Um, and he's really small and he's tiny and he's cute. I, it's cute, but I've decided to take these off of my shop already because I'm not totally in love with the design and the execution of it and yeah I do want to do black cats but I think I'm going to just switch it to like a different way of doing the black cats with the huge I just love I love the eyes when their eyes are huge like that and there's just no thoughts just orbs <laughs> um <and> then <laughs> I was like, okay, Halloween. We're like totally getting into Halloween. I did Molly the Duck as a ghost because every year on TikTok, there's a theme of everyone dressing up as ghosts and dressing up their pets as ghosts. So this is the duck ghost friend. Um, she's super cute. I actually had to make Molly first so the duck, bake her so that she was hardened and, you know, ready to go. And then... I made the really thin sheet of white clay and then put it on top of her to make it look like the ghost, a sheet, right? A bed sheet. And then I had to bake her again with this new clay on top of her because when I tried doing it, having Molly the duck, but she's soft and then um, 
trying to put the clay the bed sheet the bed sheet on top of her but she's soft and the sheet is soft it was just not doing well and it kept ripping and like it kept indenting in the wrong places so yeah I really like how this one turned out I love the folds in it and it looks very ghost <laughs> um, this one came out cute I also made one that's Phoebe this one is okay I wish that the clay I could have made the clay a bit thinner the clay came out super thick I don't know if you can see but in some parts it's very very thick like here you can see like how thick it is on top versus the one with the duck like it's very thin it's super thin you can like it's about as thin as clay gets without like breaking but this one it was really thick and it just kept I could not get it to work and I didn't want it to look like a dress I really wanted to look like a sheet but I also didn't want it to look like just I don't know how to explain it but I needed <laughs> I needed it to be billowy so it looked like they were like moving and it was like a ghost in the wind I don't know um, but this is Phoebe doing her classic T-Rex pose um, which I thought it was pretty cute and then I decided um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with other artists on YouTube besides me <laughs> but uh, one of my favorite artists the one who got me into who didn't get me into like she doesn't know who I am but like she influenced me into pursuing art more seriously like in 2017 I think is when I found her on YouTube anyway so she has a parrotlet which is basically like a parakeet but it's not a parakeet, it's a parrotlet and a, a Boston, I think he's a Boston Terrier or a mixed Boston Terrier because he's kind of big for a Boston Terrier but you know one of those snub face nose dogs and I made them as ghosts also um, I really like the design that the bird got so the bird's name is Hercules and here's Hercules, Herc as a ghost and I gave him angry eyes because he's so he's angry all the time he's always trying to fight in her videos <laughs> um, and then here is Toady uh, he fell in the oven I didn't support him enough so he kind of fell over and then it baked and hardened while he fell over so his legs were all messed up so I was like okay I'm gonna give him something to stand on so he's you know able to sit upright so she has a rug that's like checkered blue and white it's not this exact blue um, but I didn't want to use my super dark blue I kind of liked using this baby blue color so I gave him this rug that matches kind of the rug that she has in her studio and um, I had to give it like a pillow basically for him to stand on so he could actually stand and I kind of like it I think it's cute it makes it look like a, a piece like an actual art piece I don't know um yes and I'm supposed to send these to her as like fan mail which I've never done before I've never done that you know cool fan mail thing um which is a little bit I never thought I'd be one of those people who sends fan mail to people but here I am um, next, my friend also is very much obsessed with Animal Crossing the way that I am. So her favorite character is Drago, so I decided to make him into an actual dragon because in the game he's more of like an alligator that looks like a dragon, but this one I made him like a dragon that looks like a dragon. <laughs> um, and he just, he came out so cute. He's also quite large. For a keychain so I gave him this loop in case she wanted to put him on something thicker like I also think it would be cool hanging like on your car um, rear view window which of course or rear view rear view mirror um, which you know they won't fit in here but if you do that loop-de-loop -loop thing it, it might it may fit this way <laughs> um, yeah so there's this guy super cute I tried making a second one 
It did not come out as cute. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. I think I'm not good at gauging pieces and being the same. I really just like almost the same, but not quite, especially the face. Like, not too happy with how the face turned out in comparison. So this one I'm just gonna keep. He's just gonna be mine. He'll hang out here in the studio, um, judging me, but he's not sellable, which is fine. Not everything I make has to make money, but that would be nice. Um, and then I made more Animal Crossing friends. So here is, well, here they are. I honestly, what is it, what's this one's name? I forgot. Marshall and something. Yeah, Raymond. Raymond and Marshall, a cat and a squirrel. This one's supposed to have glasses, but I didn't feel like trying to figure out how to make glasses for this guy, so he's just wearing contacts today. Um, and then that angry squirrel, Marshall. And then we made Dom, who is super cute. And Bo, is supposed to be a deer or like an antelope? I don't know, but I made his eyes a little bit too big, but I still think he's super cute. From the back, he kind of looks like a fox. So I probably make a fox next, but he came out cute. And okay, so Dom is a sheep. And I really loved the swirls that came out. I don't know if this is focusing, but the his horns I loved, and then also the way that I did the fur, the wool. It just it was so much fun, first of all, and it looks super cool in person. I don't know if there's like too much glare, so you can't really tell, but. I was like, okay, what else can I make that's cute and sheep-like, um, you know, that people can connect with and love, hopefully, maybe. So I made, I don't know if you can name the anime, but it's Sailor Moon, but she's a sheep. And I made a matching bow, and there's even like a little gem in the center for her moon prism power makeup or you know whatever um yes yeah, so i love the way that the the wool came out it's almost like scales but it's not it's supposed to look fluffy and it kind of does and i also like that her horns just are like her little buns with the red in the middle so cute and of course i had to make the whole set so here is sailor mercury um, I like that I made her look a little bit like worried, sleepy, not really angry or like bored. I don't know. I like the, her facial expression. I think it really matches the character in the show. Um, and then here are her little horns. They're so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just dropped her. <laughs> um, and then her bow with the little gem in the center. And then, uh, like, I love the effect of this layered circle clay. Like, it's so simple. It's so simple, but it's just so cute. Uh, okay, so Sailor Mercury and then Sailor Mars, of course. I had to make her angry because she's a little angry girl. And... Yes. Of course. And then, yeah her bow with the gem. Sailor Jupiter is probably my favorite after Sailor Mercury, both in the show and the sheep themselves. <laughs> um, yeah, so here, her horns just came out so good. Like, come on, aren't they just so cute? They're so freaking cute. And also the bow, I'm obsessed. I love her so much. We're almost done. Sailor Venus. 
this one I had to work a bit on it a couple times just because I really wanted it to be distinct from um, Sailor Moon since they both have yellow hair I needed it to be very obvious that one was Sailor Moon and the other one was not so I made her hair a bit more like of an orangey like this one's very pale yellow this one's got yellow with streaks of like orange in it I don't know if you can see um, and obviously their horns are different but they both have blue eyes also which was kind of annoying but I mean they look different different enough you know the you know who they are um yes I also made while we're talking about anime if any of you have watched Demon Slayer I made Inosuke the pig or the the guy that wears the pig mask the boar mask um, I made his little boar mask and of course it's angry and I love I love this one it's so cute I had a lot of fun figuring out how to do the nose um, yeah this one I need to put the keychain on it but I'm obsessed with him. I wish I made it a little bit smaller so I could put him on my phone, but he's just a little, oh, he's just a little, little too big, I think, and a little too heavy to go on the phone. There's that. Also, while I was doing my clay thing, that's when the Little Mermaid trailer came out or teaser trailer not really like the trailer but the teaser came out and so I made Little Mermaid trinket trays um, featuring Halle Berry as the Little Mermaid with her super cute hey, red dreadlock hair and she's sitting on a little shell and it's a dish and you can put stuff in it I don't have any jewelry besides it's supposed to be like a jewelry tray but it, you mean you can put anything in it but like so there's my rings and it's a trinket tray because of the song you know when she's like singing and she's in her little cave and she's like look at all my stuff I've got who's it's and what's it galore. Well now you can give Ariel the little mermaid. You can give this mermaid a bunch of stuff, a little collection of things for her to admire on her little seashell and she will take care of it for you. Just surround her with little sparkly things. Um, yeah, so this one, this one was super cute. I really loved making this. Uh, it's much larger than my other pieces, but I think she's super cute. How many times did I say super cute in this vlog? Let me know. I made two more because uh, I got two orders of them. So these are the other ones. I still have to glaze them and attach the tray portion, but these will these ones, they came out okay. I was still kind of figuring out um, the coloring. I really like how these shells came out. They're very, you can probably see from the bottom, but this is, you're not going to see this part. So you'll see that part. And this. Yeah. So there's those, and they come with the matching dishes that I need to attach to them. So yeah, that is my current clay journey, what I've been up to, what else did I talk about? Oh, the paintings? Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully see you in the next vlog. Hopefully that one will be not super far away in the future. Comment down below what you think I should make next for clay. Um, and also, what's your favorite anime, if you watch anime, or what's your favorite cartoon, so I can maybe make a cartoon character from there. I think that would be super cute. And, uh, yeah, if you got this far, you should probably subscribe if you haven't already and like the video because this is probably going to be a long vlog. I haven't edited it yet, but 
it's probably going to be a long one. And if you got this far, you, you're a true fan. Don't even try to lie. You're a true fan. Hit the subscribe. Tell your friends. Was that too aggressive? I don't know. <laughs> Bye!